somewhere close to her best. She's she's about a 2.12 runner, and I think uh, anything under 2.13 she'll be she'll be pretty pleased with. Well, there's only a couple of athletes who are faster in this race. Sokolova from Russia. She's on the inside, and Pekorova, who's on the outside, she's gone to the front. Pekorova from Russia, she's in ninth place at the moment. I think what you'll find is, is that, uh, as, as you said, these are all the athletes from 9 to 16. So, as you can see, Kylie is actually not very far out of being at the top levels of world class in the heptathlon. Well, what have you made of her performance so far? She began OK in the hurdles, and uh, high jump was a little bit disappointing, but then she was impressive. What are, what are your thoughts on Kylie Wheeler? Uh, I think we'll find that uh, she's, she's going to be fairly pleased with her, with her performance. Obviously, like most athletes, she's going to be, you know, a little down on herself because we're, we're all perfectionists and all that kind of stuff. But I think there's, there's a lot of room for improvement for her. Because she's only a young kid, I think that, you know, another three or four years, especially working on the throws, she's given away so many points in the throws. Her other five events, they're you know, they're well up and she's very competitive with everybody, but, but a bit of speed and a bit of throws, I think. So Yelena Pekorova down the back straight from Russia to Russian 1-2 at the moment. So Kolova is in second place. Kylie Wheeler now starting to move up around the outside. She's just going up into fourth place at the moment. This must be quite an easy race for you to call, Dave, because there's not a lot of passing in this one, son. No, they move like glaciers. Not as bad as the 1,500-meter runners <laughs> at the end of a decathlon, but uh, it's not the event that they look forward to. There's no question about that. And Kylie Wheeler at the moment is in fifth position, so Prokhorova is going to take this out. And coming into this, she was in ninth place, so she's going to set a time for the others to chase in the next heat. So Prokhorova crosses the line in first place. Sokolova from Russia in second. I think Kylie's in there about uh, 2.17, something like that. Sober from India was third, and then Kylie Wheeler, so 2.17, and she may get over 6,000 points. Oh, yeah, oh, she'll definitely get over get over 6,000 points. I just think it's, uh, it's very, very humid out there. I know that uh, the Australians are, are used to the heat, but uh, but you know being uh, very light skinned my friend it's uh, it's tough out there Kylie with parents are from Sri Lanka mother is from Sri Lanka she's got a disabled brother John who's got cerebral palsy and her mother's done a great job to look after John and Kylie father passed away and uh, it's been a real struggle for the family mother went to the Commonwealth Games to watch Kylie compete where she won the silver medal and they'll be proud of her efforts here she's one of the most popular athletes in the Australian team she got herself up into seventh place after the long jump. It's around 217.65 for 856 points. So she's... She's going to be just under about 6,100. 100 points, so... Yeah. It's 200 off her best, right? and I think to come to an Olympic Games and to be performing in front of probably 70,000 people in, in this weather under, under very stressful conditions, she's done well. So Kylie Wheeler... We'll have to wait for confirmation of her final placing, but uh, a good result for her. There's the result, heat three of the women's heptathlon. The favourites come up in the next here at the Olympic Stadium. To stay in the silver medal position. So that uh, should be quite an interesting race. Well, it is because their personal bests are five seconds apart. Southerton, a 2.12 runner, and Shute, a, a 2.17 runner. Yeah, so it's going to be very interesting. But Shute's actually been, been looking pretty good today and uh, she had a great jab in personal best and so obviously she's really up for it and why wouldn't you run yourself into the ground for an Olympic silver medal? So Kelly Sullivan from Great Britain is in front then Collinville from France then back to Dubronska from Ukraine what about Carolina Kluft? Take us through what she's done so far it's, uh, they're extraordinary performances, world class in many events Yeah, I mean hurdles, it's 13, 21, 191 in the high jump which is, which is fantastic Shot put, obviously she's a slightly smaller woman So 14, 77, 200, almost world class at 23, 27 Long jump, she'll hopefully be competing in the individual in the next couple of days With 678 and javelin, she pulled out another good run with 48, 89 There she is in the centre of screen, 3074, Carolina Clough She's the world champion 
She's about to become the Olympic champion, and the crowds here, the Swedish fans, have really got behind the 21-year-old. I'm just wondering if she's actually going to go for this uh, really fast time, because she needs to do about 2 minutes 10, 2 minutes 11 in order to get the second highest score of all time. Or do you think she'll uh, take it easy and just take the medal and get herself a little bit of rest for the individual long jump in a few days? She's having a go, I reckon. Kelly Sullivan's having a go. She's in front. And there's a real battle on for second and third here. And the six seconds of is the points difference. And there's Sullivan. You better get the points right, Dave, because my man... Grant Thomas, the leader of the Mighty Saints, has got his scoring table out and checking everything we're saying. Clough's going to win the gold medal unless she collapses in a heap in the final stretch here. Summerton's in front, Collinville's in second, and we'll keep an eye on the time because Chiate is the Lithuanian about to cross the line. Now there's Clough, it's going to be tied. Clough's the Olympic champion, and Summerton and Chiate will have to wait to see who wins the silver and bronze medal, but Carolina Clough, 21 years of age, oh, she's in, at the is moment, Olympic she, champion. She's Olympic champion and she's incomparable. I think that uh, as far as uh, most of the events, I mean, they've all got some great champions in, and that young girl is going to be great. So they're absolutely spent after two days, seven events. They began with the 100 meter hurdles, then the high jump shot put 200 on day one. And they came back this morning with the long jump, the javelin, and just to make your day, you run an 800 metres at the end. So we're just waiting for the points. Southerton, 2.12.27, and that's not too far outside her personal best. No, I think it's, uh, I think it's right up there. Listen, I think she has been very, very courageous. Dave, I think that uh, to actually take the bull by the horns and, and actually go for the medal has been fantastic. Two 100s inside her personal best, so 2 12 29 was her best and 2 12 27. Collinville was second, 2 13 62. As Clough, the emotion of the moment starts to take over. Fasaga was fourth in that race. Then Burrell, Skiate, 2 15 92, a season's best for her, so I'm not sure if it'll be enough. And now Club runs to the stands. You see, that's her sister. She says her family's most important to her all. She doesn't compete for the money, she just competes for the love, but she's about the most famous thing going around in Sweden since ever. We've got a great chance in the men's triple jump with Christian Olsen. And her fiance, Patrick, Patrick Chris Johnson is a medalist in the pole vault from the World Championships, and he's got a good chance of a medal. Surety Davis uh, just managed to hold off Southerton by nine points, which is about eight tenths of a second in the uh, 800. That's, uh, those placings now confirmed with Carolina Clough just missing 7,000 points, 6,952. Surete in second from Lithuania. 6,435 points and then Southerton in third 6,424 and Kylie Wheeler will finish in 18th position with 6,090 points as Kylie Wheeler they've all come out onto the track as is tradition I think you might have started that daily the tradition of taking the multi-event athletes around as one to uh, congratulate each other and say thanks to the crowd that have supported them. I like to think, Dave, that the tradition that I started was the four laps of honour just before it. I think, I think, I think Kylie, if, if we ask her now, I, I think she'll, she'll tell you that uh, she's not happy, but, but I think in a couple of weeks' time when she looks back on it, she'll know she's done a good job. So Kylie Wheeler has finished in 18th position in the heptathlon, but Carolina Cluft is the star of this show. She's the Olympic champion at 21 years of age. Yes, a mighty... Is that about the two toughest days you've ever spent in your life? I think so, definitely. Like, it was great fun. I enjoyed every moment, but it was definitely tough. You have 200 below your PB in conditions like this. You, you, you can't be unhappy, surely. Um, oh, yeah, I guess every athlete's always hoping to do a personal best, and, and that's all I came here wanting to do. And I did get two individual PBs in the shot and the jab, so I can take that away from it, but... um. Yeah, maybe four years' time we'll 
make amends. <laughs> now, with a couple of events to go, you were up there around seventh place. Yeah, that's right. The long jump. Um, after the long jump, I jumped into second, seventh. Um, unfortunately, although I threw well in the javelin, the other girls threw further, so that pushed me back down to 16th. Dally Thompson was saying in commentary that work a little bit on the throws, and he thinks you've got a great future in this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's true. I mean, I do need to get them a bit further out there but also to, i mean in this particular hip tackle on my uh, jumps which are normally my strengths actually let me down a little bit so um i mean improvements can be made all around now what about the scenes at the end with yeah. carolina a great champion and, and she invited the whole field virtually to be part of it yeah now she's a lovely girl and she deserves every success and um <clears throat> the third place go to kelly southerton as well we've had um good rivalry between us and she's just gone on to bigger and better things and i wish her all the best but it was a